video, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful hydrogel serum that I have made with EcoGel. Hello, lovely formulators. I am Elham from Skin Chakra, the place to purchase excellent quality cosmetic raw material and to learn how to formulate like a cosmetic chemist. And in today's video, we are going to make this beautiful hydrogel serum which is filled with active ingredients. I kept it still very simple and keys, but there are some uh, active ingredients such as bacuchiol or vegeluron that, that are here. The star of the product is EcoGel and I have made a tutorial about uh, three, four weeks ago about how to work with EcoGel. I'm linking to the video somewhere here or here or here and you can go and have a look at that video first before uh, joining me as always the full uh, formulation and procedure are on our blog so go to the blog first and download write down the formulation before you join me for the rest of the video the first step which is the most important and most time consuming part of the whole procedure is dispersion and hydration of ecogel in water if this step is not performed correctly, the overall stability of the product is compromised. I am processing via a hot cold process. This means I disperse the ecogel in hot water. As you see, my water phase is heating now. But during the hydration process, I don't use any further heating. I'm using two methods, the easier method of using an overhead mixer which you have in a real manufacturing procedure or if your laboratory has an overhead mixer it is the easier way and the more artisanal way that I'm using the Dynamix you can use your Kyplendia if you have it and then we'll compare uh, both products at the end together. For the artisanal way of this version, I am using the Dynamix. And we'll go. I'm using the third stage of speed. And here we go. The artisanal way is dispersed as well and it has to hydrate for about 45 minutes to one hour. You can meanwhile either use a spatula and stir it or uh, use a magnetic stirrer but you need a strong magnetic stirrer to stir it. Don't leave it to its own destiny at this stage. Meanwhile, and as we are waiting for the hydration of the EcoGel, we can prepare the rest of our water phase and the oil phase. Okay, both gels have been uh, hydrating for uh, 45 minutes. They look very similar. This one is a little bit whiter because I have uh, been very... Uh, stormy with stirring and it's much more foam here but this one the manual the dynamics method is a little bit smoother 
Now I'm going to add my uh, water uh, soluble active ingredients. Now I'm ready to add my water soluble active ingredients. These include our vegetable, which is a highly concentrated mushroom extract uh, as a gel with a very nice skin feel. Renumere, which is an alkali extract. A natural chelator to boost the preservative and uh, improve the uh, photo stability of the product. Sodium PCA, which is a humic tant, and pantenol. In addition, I have here a prebiotic powder and it takes a little while uh, to uh, disperse it and to dissolve it in the water phase uh, and because of this I am blending all of these phases first in the beaker and then add it to the um, gel. It takes a while to disperse the powder in this phase, but it will work and at the end it will be something like this that I have prepared. So my water active ingredients are both nice and smooth blended and now I can add them to the uh, gel. So we start with the manual one and I'm slowly and gradually adding the active ingredients to the hydrated gel. Since this was a hot cold process after 45 minutes the gel is uh, already room temperature and you can immediately add the active ingredients. It blends very easily. As you can see. And now we'll add the active ingredients uh, to the other gel that we are preparing with an overhead steer. Now I'm adding the same phase water uh, soluble active ingredients to the gel with the overhead steer. This works obviously much faster and easier. Now it's time to add our lipophilic active ingredients. I kept this hydrogel serum a, a minimalist approach and added as little as possible. You can uh, actually add your more active ingredients, but I wanted to keep it very simple for the first trial in case you uh, have little experience working with EcoGel. Our Lipophilic face, which looks so beautiful, consists of our paprika extract, bakuchiol, vitamin E, Liquid vitamin C, and now I'm adding our pro vitamin D to the 
liquids and then I will add the essential oil. It blends very easily. And then I have Elang Elang essential oil. to add the lipophilic active ingredients to both gels. Here with the uh, overhead steerer it's actually much easier and faster. So, look at this beautiful and as it is stirring, I will add the lipophilic phase to the one that was stirred manually or with, uh, with dynamics. Okay, I have prepared 2-10% dilution of each of these hydrogels in distilled water and we are now going to measure the pH. My, P my pH meter is uh, already calibrated so I don't need to calibrate the pH meter, I just need to rinse the electrode, dry it and then put it into the solution. Gently dry the electrode and then put it into the solution, stir it a little bit The pH is 525, which is exactly in the range that I wanted. The other one should be the same, but we have to check anyway. This is the one that was stirred with dynamics. It's 518, that is very similar. And I am going to add the preservative to both of them uh, without any pH adjustment. If you have a pH lower than 5.1 or higher than 6, you may need to adjust the pH before adding the preservative. I am now adding the preservative system, which is a blend of our uh, 1388 Eco and a Versatile BL in, in natural conform preservative blend that I'm adding to both of the uh, systems. I will then prepare another 10% dilution of any of these hydrogels and remeasure the pH and see if that is in the range that should be which is for this preservative system between 5.2 and 5.5. 
If you are working with another preservative system, make sure that you uh, adjust the pH in the range that is required for your preservative system. After adding the preservative, I have prepared another 10% dilution of the uh, hydrogel and uh, have measured the pH. The pH is a little bit higher than should be in the range. It's about five, let me see. It's 5.8 and uh, the maximum pH that I want for this system and is uh, compatible with the preservative system is 5.5. So I'm going to add a little bit of lactic acid to both hydrogels prepare another 10% dilution and re-measure the pH. I know that sounds like a, too much a hassle and very time consuming, but it is a very important step when you are working with uh, water-based products that should be preserved. I have prepared another 10% dilution of uh, both hydrogels after adding the lactic acid. Uh, and now I'm going to measure the pH. I have rinsed my electrode and hopefully it is the range that we need and it seems as if it is indeed in the range 5.35 which is exactly in the range that we need. So we are done with the pH measurement now. Both hydrogels are almost finished now. I have added the preservative and adjusted the pH and that's actually ready to fill in suitable containers. So we are finished now. So you can feel after taking your stability samples, you can feel this beautiful serum in an A-less bottle or in a serum bottle or usual pump lotion bottle whatever you like uh, the, the less the less the contact with the finger the higher the uh, microbial stability of the product and keep in mind that if you fill this uh, product in uh, transparent containers you need uh, to have a, a photo stability testing to see how long the color will uh, remain uh, before it fades away. Paprika uh, color or most of the uh, extracts, most of the natural colorants are not highly photostable. So uh, the color fades away a little bit with time and do ha you have to figure that out uh, for uh, figuring out the st overall stability and shelf life of the product. This for example, this is a sample that I have made about three months ago uh, and as you can see, it's a little bit lighter than the other one. It's still very beautiful and uh, to be honest, it's more beautiful than the, that the um, dark orange color, uh, but this is something that you have to figure out uh, before uh, estimating the shelf life of the product. I hope you have enjoyed this long tutorial. Uh, don't uh, forget to press the like button and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming tutorials. See you soon. Thanks for joining me and bye bye.